everybody, it's Frankie Lou. I'm coming to you from the deck of the Grow Together Homestead where I am potting up a bunch more of my larger water cooler bottle milk jugs to use in my kitchen cutting garden. This is one of my favorite places on the homestead because it's right outside the door of my kitchen, both indoor and outdoor. And I love to come here during the summer and just take snips from nice fresh foods, greens, edible flowers, and herbs that I can use immediately in my cooking. I don't have to go all the way down to the garden. It's nice to have it ready. Now, as you can see, I've got a lot going on here, but this is gonna be twice the size of this by the time it's done. So what I'm doing is I am reusing a bunch of the soil from last year's jugs. I love these water cooler jugs. If you haven't seen my videos on it yet, <laughs> Do, do take a look because they are amazing. What I use them for is winter sewing, but winter sewing in place. It's different from my wonderful little milk jugs that I use, which is something I'm gonna transplant into my garden because these containers are large enough to sustain my plants and I don't need to transplant. I just have to remove these lids when it's time. I did a bunch of them last year, loved it. I'm using a lot of them again this year, but as you can see, there's a whole lot of soil in these things. That's a good thing because as I said, it's large enough to sustain the plants as they are, as they become mature, but it can be quite costly. If I was to replace all this soil for all of these every year, that would run me a lot of money. I already have almost 20 of these going and I, as I said, I'm going to be doubling that. That would become quite costly if I were to use my bag soil that I love so much, my pro mix, organic herb and veggie mix, which I use for these guys. So what I do is I reuse the soil that's in here. Now this soil, as you can see, has sustained some nice healthy plants over the year. These are ones that were planted last year and I'm reusing these bottles. That's another reason I really like these bottles is whereas these milk jugs do tend to degrade and I can only use them once, these are, are now on their second go and they're, they're nice and firm and strong still. This pot here has sustained some nice healthy plants that I got a lot of use out of. But so now this soil is quite depleted. I'm definitely not gonna get rid of this soil though. It is reusable, but what I need to do is rebuild the nutrition and the nutrition exchange in this soil. So first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off for each of these. I'm gonna take out the tags, obviously. Those are really helpful though. You don't wanna get rid of them. You'd, you'd be surprised how quickly you forget when you place in these tags, especially as, when you do as many as I do. I'm gonna remove as much of the dead matter as I can, and I'm not getting rid of it. I'm composting it. Okay, I'm gonna throw it in a bin. Okay, remove any obvious roots that need to come out of there. Okay, I'm going to do a second one too, just so you can see it's taking out. When I take that layer of organic dried matter off the top, I want to make sure I'm removing any seeds. Okay, break that up. What I have here is a, is a good base, okay? As I said though, I have completely depleted the nutrition in here by growing plants in it. How can I rebuild it? It's not that hard. Also, if I notice any errors in my previous planting, like for instance, maybe the soil is too heavy, there are ways to amend and change that. What are some means of adding nutrition to this so that it'll now sustain my plants for another growing season? Well, I've got some nice soil here. It's actually, it doesn't look bad, okay? But I am gonna amp it up, all right? Still less costly than buying a whole new bag of soil and just dumping that in the compost. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some of my lovely homey compost and I'm gonna add probably about a third of what I put in there. Okay, because this is where a lot of the nutrition is coming from. Compost is wonderful because it's slow release. You don't want to burn your roots and your plants and stuff. And stuff. It also adds a nice fluffiness to the soil. Now, let's say this still doesn't seem fluffy enough. You could add some other things to this to help 
make it a little lighter, lighter. Sometimes when we use container plants like this and we just use standard garden soil, it can get too heavy and too waterlogged. So we can do some amendments to this to make it a little lighter. I like adding coconut core. Peat is a good product as well, but as it's a little less sustainable than coconut core, I do like to add coconut core to this because peat takes a long time to develop, whereas coconut core can be harvested annually. I'm gonna mix that in. That's gonna add some nice fluffiness. You could add some perlite or some vermiculite to that if you like. I don't think this is gonna need it. So I've added some nutrition with compost. I've added some fluffiness again because I did find that one of these bins was a bit heavy with the coconut core or peat moss, if you like. Now, another thing I'm gonna add, a little secret weapon, I call it, when it comes to adding a little bit more nutrition, you could add worm casting. That's another wonderful secret weapon. But I have a wonderful little pet rabbit named Hickory who provides me with black gold. <laughs> And if you're looking for a wonderful little slow release fertilizer capsule that's natural, you really can't go better than rabbit manure. I, I will do another video just specifically about rabbit manure, but for this much, I'm just gonna add a handful or two in there. It's also gonna help with the soil structure. It's gonna break down really, really slowly, but it's very high in the nutrition that these plants need. Higher even than my chicken, compo chicken manure compost is. So I like to add that as my little secret weapon. Now, one of the reasons why I love the ProMix Organic Herb and Veggie Blend that I talked about earlier is because it also includes mycorrhiza. Mycorrhiza are fungi, and the fungi that's in that helps the nutrition exchange that goes on between the plant roots and all those wonderful nutri nutrients I'm sticking in here. So, as this has been depleted, and it's also been allowed to dry out over the winter, I've purchased some mycorrhiza that I will use. I really only need to add, like for all of this, honestly, like half a teaspoon is gonna make a huge difference in helping my plants get that nutrition exchange that they need between their roots and all of the wonderful things I've placed in here. So there we go. I have, because I've added so much stuff to this, I have more than enough soil to fill the two that I've just emptied and I could probably get a good start on another one as well. So as I said, don't throw your soil away. That would be extremely wasteful and also costly. There are ways that you can reuse your soil. Give it back that life that it kind of lost over the year after serving you so well by providing you with wonderful plants it would be a shame to lose that structure that the soil has provided you it's just a good idea to give it a little oomph <laughs> i hope that was helpful please don't hesitate to ask more questions about that if there's anything you want to know and as always i hope you'll take this chance to grow together today have a good one